Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Menezes from Mumbai, India. Good morning and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Our Gospel today is taken from Matthew chapter 14 verses 13 to 21 and this is the feeding of the 5,000. One of the biggest problems in our world today still seems to be hunger and food insecurity according to a number of human rights research. And this has been true for almost all time in history. Many people even ask if God is a good God, why is there suffering like this in the world? Why is there poverty? Why is there hunger? Even war? Jesus, in today's gospel, actually sees the crowds gathering from everywhere to listen to him. They listen to his preaching and they come to receive physical healing from Jesus. And Jesus, in his compassion, spends the whole day preaching and ministering and healing people. They kept coming and waiting and listening. And when it was evening and the people were still around, his disciples get worried and ask Jesus to send them away so that they can find food for the day, for the evening. Uh, but Jesus sees the need of the people. Not just their physical hunger, but also their spiritual hunger. And Jesus, in his love and compassion for these people, feeds them with both physical and spiritual food. Now, Jesus doesn't just do this by himself. He involves his disciples in it and makes them partners in this great miracle that is about to happen. He teaches them not to hold back from himself, even the little they have, but to generously lay it before the Lord, who can do great things. He wants to partner with us in our own simple ways of serving him, and he wants to use that offering. He brings us into a partnership with himself. Now, this is a great example of how we should seek and pursue the Lord to be not overly concerned or anxious of how we will be provided for, but to lean on the Lord for our sustenance because the Lord has compassion on us. And He is the one who provides for us both spiritual and physical food. I also want to share with us another perspective that really inspired me as I read through this gospel. It says that when Jesus received the two, the two fish and the five loaves, he looks up to heaven and blesses the food. Now, of course, we, in our simple ways, we do this, that we bless the food before we eat. But this is not just a blessing on the food. This is Jesus' recognition of his Father's will and grace in his life. He is about to perform a wonderful miracle and as a testament to everyone around him about the relationship relationship he has with the father he looks up to heaven and then performs the miracle the G his disciples offered the resources they had very freely however small it was and the Lord was able to use this and bless and feed many. And so I want to give us two things to take away from this. One is to recognize that everything we have is a gift from the Lord, from our Father in heaven. Our life, our work, our career, our resources, our friendships, our family. They are all a gift from the Lord. And so let us be grateful and rejoice in the Lord or rejoice with the Lord. Be grateful to him for these great blessings. Second, let us constantly look to the Lord. If Jesus himself was able to look up to the Father with what he had and acknowledge the Father's goodness and ask for his grace and blessing. How much more should we? So let us look to the Lord and offer Him what we have.
because he is capable of multiplying what we offer to him. He is able to multiply this as a blessing for us and a blessing for others. Again, this is Adrian Menezes uh, from India. If you've been blessed by this reflection, this meditation, please share it with your friends and family. May the Lord continue to multiply his great blessings and gifts to us as we offer our gratitude and our life to him. God bless you all.